Brian Dolesky with Able Distributors. You know I've done a lot of videos on static pressure, checking your static pressure, and how it improves airflow. Those videos are going to be linked below. Everything I did for this video, I used the UEI manometer with the static pressure probe. And I've got some pictures I'm going to put up here too to show you what I did and how it changed this system. So I had a system that was both noisy and was suffering on airflow a little bit. And what I did to start with, they had return grills just like this. The spacing is about a quarter inch. So on this grill, six inch tall, there's 19 louvers. I went with what Able Distributors sells, and this is the only return grill we sell for a reason. The spacing is half inch, so only 11 louvers in the same size grill must much less face velocity, much less noise, much better airflow. So what I did was I took the static pressure probe from the UEI manometer kit, I put it in, faced it down, I hooked it up to the negative side on the manometer, and I just wanted to see the difference between one spacing of the grill to the next. And I started with just one register. So this house had seven returns in it. My static on the return side was a little high. So I checked one and that one went from a 0 0.056 down to a 0 0.011. So I thought that was a huge, huge difference. So I changed out all seven grills to a wider spacing of the grill and I cut off 0.21 on the static on the return side by doing nothing but changing out the grills. Now, I did have some that were stud space grills that instead of putting mollies in, I actually enlarged it to a 14 inch wide grill. So if you have stud space returns, you could actually go stud to stud, cut out the whole area. You could actually go stud to stud and instead of a six inch tall, grill, you could go with an eight inch tall grill and really, really make a difference. So the next thing I did was I looked at the supply side and what the house had was fancy designer floor registers. I got to tell you right now, they, they're terrible. They suck. I wouldn't use them. I wouldn't recommend them. They look great. They just don't provide decent airflow. The difference in airflow between these two is monumental, monumental. So I talk a lot about static air pressure. I talk a lot about increasing airflow, getting your AC or heating to work more efficiently throughout the house. Not just how the furnace burns the gas, but how you treat the home. I mean, ultimately that's what we want. We want every square inch of our home to be comfortable. We want it as quiet as humanly possible. We want to get the air changes to either dehumidify, humidify, heat or cool the space that we live in. Changing out the grills is a very, very easy way to know if you've got it or not. So down below, I'm going to link checking your total static pressure. That's everything outside the furnace. That's a good place to start to see if you have issues. Every furnace manufacturer out there basically wants a 0.5 total static pressure outside the furnace. The house I was in, it was almost a 1.0. So it was double what they wanted. We got it down to a 0.7 by changing a couple of the floor registers and a couple of return grills and doing no duct work, which is kind of amazing. I'm also gonna link the video I just did on the new UEI manometer. It comes with everything you need to check gas pressure and static pressure and do little tests like this. Now, granted, sticking a, a, a static probe inside a grill while it's on the wall in a return it's not that accurate. Literally, I just stuck it in, faced it down, put it on the negative side, turned it on, and saw the difference. It's not scientifically accurate, but from my point of view, it did exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to know what it was gonna do to change from one spacing to another to make the difference. So, everything's linked below. Check it all out. Brian Dolesky, Able Distributors, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.